Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas. And today I have one of my personal favorites to show you. This is the 7,615 pound 2022 Arctic Wolf model 261RK. This is the replacement for the ultra popular 271RK. And I don't know how they did it, but they managed to shave about 500 pounds off of this one. They also shaved about two to three feet off of it as well, while still giving you tons of storage, tons of living space, and all the other features that you've come to love about these Arctic Wolf fifth wheels, such as the auto leveling, the optional second air conditioner, travel rack, all that good stuff. Uh, this is their shortest member of the Arctic Wolf family too, by the way. It comes in just about 30 feet. So if you're looking for something to go to the state and national parks, that's high class, but also not $100,000, this would definitely be one to pay attention to. We're gonna start with the interior, show you around there, come back to the exterior, and being that this is a new model, let me know what you think, let me know what you like, what you don't like. Your feedback does matter, it helps what we stock, and also we relay all of that back to the manufacturers. Let's go ahead and dive right in, We'll get started. And I think one of the big reasons why I'm drawn to this one specifically is the unconventional rear kitchen layout. Normally with a lot of big fifth wheels that have rear kitchens, you're not gonna get something like this. And I think they did a really good job of, at handling the one Achilles heel of most smaller rear kitchens, which is normally you don't get a very good entertainment area. And as we see right here, we're standing right inside the entry door and we'll start with the entertainment center. So right here, you do have a spot where you can mount a TV. TVs are not standard with Arctic Wolves, but they are an option. We like to bring those in anytime that we're able to. Uh, and when you do, you do get a 40 inch TV. Now, we'll talk about the storage behind that here in a little bit, but I do wanna talk about that you do have an AM FM Bluetooth stereo system. You're also gonna have a 5200 BTU electric space heating fireplace down there as well, which is a very nice feature. It's gonna help keep your furnace from running as long on those winter mornings and evenings. And also, you know, if it's a late fall, early spring morning or evening, uh, it kind of helps take that chill out of the air. Now, this is where it gets unconventional. Normally in these smaller rear kitchens, you get a booth dinette. And I like that they didn't do that. This one has the op or the standard freestanding table and chairs, and that's the only arrangement that you have in this trailer. I don't believe a booth dinette will fit here, it is the thing. Now, I love that they're doing the live edge tabletop, and you do have two folding chairs, which are the ones on the right side of the table, and two fixed chairs. So if this is just going to be a couple's rig, which primarily it is, you can take those two chairs, fold them up, leave them at home, leave them in the pass-through storage, put them under the bed, wherever you want. Um, that way you have a little more elbow room. Now, this one does... Oops, I'm tripping over the corner of the sofa there. This one does a lot of good things, and one of those being that it has huge windows. And actually, it has such big windows, I had to pull down the zebra shade so the camera would even give you a somewhat reasonable idea of what the colors and everything look like. Now, um, you do have the disco blue lights. And I'll turn those off, except for the one behind the TV, since that is on a separate switch, to give you an idea of what the actual colors look like. So it's a nice kind of brownish tan with some darker accents. You do have a little bit of carpet in the slide out, and I know some people really don't like that, but I believe it is going to be on Arctic Wolf's radar to eventually do, do away with that. If we spin back around over here, you'll notice that you have theater seats. That is the standard 
seating arrangement. I don't believe a trifold sleeper sofa is available. Um, but if you're curious to see if it is, I can definitely double check on that. Uh, at this time, all the information that I have is that this is the only seating option available. Love those handy USB ports right there too, by the way. That's a perfect phone charger station. Now, you do have on these the heat massage and lighted cup holders. I'm just running off of the juice pack right now, so uh, can't really show you those. And one thing that I think is super smart is they have this removable console here. So if you want more of a love seat, you can take that out. If you want the divided feeling of a theater seat, you can uh, definitely leave that in. And normally, in again, these smaller rear kitchens, you get a sofa, recliners, and a dinette. And one of the things they did is they gave you this, I call it the boot bench. And basically they took a U dinette cushion and made it into a cool little seating area, place to put on your shoes. And then you've got some household and USB plugs right there too, by the way. And you have, a, it's probably really hard to see, but if we get up in here a little closer, you have all kinds of those silly looking coat hangers. Perfect spot to keep all those coats and everything. If we look down at the floor, you'll notice that you have no heat vents in the flooring. This has cabinet ducted heating, which is a super popular feature right now. And then if we look up top, you do have a 110 volt ceiling fan, dual runs of air conditioning vents. So that's going to help keep this trailer a lot, uh, or it's going to keep it, keep it cooler more efficiently. And then you have a standard 15,000 BTU Coleman air conditioner. So what that's going to do for you is it is going to be a little bit quieter than say a Dometic or a Furion. So, all right, guys, and again, I really like your feedback. Let me know what you think on this trailer. You do have the zebra shades, too, by the way. Um, I believe I forgot to mention that. Um, but let's go ahead now. Rear kitchens are known for their storage. So let's go ahead and crack open this storage in the living area. And I think you're going to be pretty impressed. I know I was the first time I set foot in this floor plan. So I think where I want to start on the storage here is actually above this coat rack area. So as you can see up there, you have a huge chunk of storage that you normally wouldn't get in a floor plan like this, especially if it was in a travel trailer. <clears throat> now you might need a two, three stepper to get to it, but as you can see there, it's nice and usable. And I like that, that shelf underneath it above where the coat rack is that's just a nice touch now even the TV entertainment center gets in on the action so you've got these nice big cabinets up here perfect for some of that pantry space or some you know big things like board games and things like that and even behind the TV there's a huge chunk of storage now is it a little hard to get to maybe but I think you're gonna like the storage better than if this was just a dead pocket <clears throat> pardon me you've got a handy shoe garage there um actually you've got two of them because you've got the one here and then you've got one underneath the steps there and there's one of those cabinet ducted uh heat vents right there <clears throat> this is all pressed membrane thermal foil style countertops and man just check out all of that prep space you are going to have a high-rise spring-loaded sprayer faucet with the hand sanitizer station. Nice one-piece farm-style sink that is the black stainless steel. Three full-extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers. You do have the silverware divider in the top one. Little kick of space there. Um, if you've watched any of my Arctic Wolf videos, especially they have this angled sink area you know that I don't really care for where that panel is I would take that out if it were me <clears throat> man pardon me and if we kind of bend down and take a look up underneath there you can see right next to that hood range there that you do have a handy set of power outlets which is very nice good storage up top 
for some of your plates and cups and things of that sort. Microwave with a hood range combo. I love this little open pocket back here for some of your spices and things of that sort. And then you do have another good cabinet right here. It does go all the way back over there, which is nice. <clears throat> you are going to have a removable backsplash and cutting board, which is a staple of the Cherokee division. Three burner cooktop with the glass cover, as you can see there. You have an oven down below in case you want to do some baking. Good spot for a waste basket right here or some extra pots and pans and things of that sort. And then you have a bonus drawer underneath the oven. Now, I don't want to forget that you have a handy set of outlets right here. This is begging for a coffee maker or a Keurig or a blender or whatever you want to put back here. This is such a usable and versatile space. I absolutely love it. And normally, you don't get outlets like that very often. Most brands overlook that and just stick it up underneath the cabinet. <clears throat> Above the refrigerator, you've got a nice big pocket up in there for some other things. I would like to see this on a strut. And then you do have the GE. Okay. Oh, it's taped. That's why. There we go. Apparently, I forgot to do that. That is a... 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge as you can see you do have the juice pack which is a very nice touch and we'll talk a little bit more on the outside but basically it is a solar package for this particular brand uh really the cherokee division <clears throat> and real quick uh, i normally don't do this but i want to go ahead and do this um, here's a shot of the window sticker so you can see all the options that are on this. And MSRP on this particular one here is going to be about $67,930. Now our sale price is lower than that, um, but I actually can't disclose the sale price uh, because it is a current model year. So if you're interested in that price, feel free to... Uh, leave a comment down below or what would really be better is if you can send us an email um, that way we don't get in any trouble for map pricing which in case you didn't know what that is that's minimum advertised price uh, that's the lowest that we can legally advertise it on social media the internet things like that now back to the trailer you do have a huge pantry nice big space there you could even put a waste basket down here if you really wanted to um, which is very nice and in case you forgot where the pantry is they go ahead and write it on the door for you and you know if you've watched any of my videos how I feel about that real quick before we go up to the upper deck here I do want to talk about the control panel. So this has the new smart control panel from Cherokee. So you've got your lights, slide outs, anything that you could do last year, you can still do this year. The cool thing with this is you can Bluetooth it to your phone, which is a really neat feature, uh, something a lot of people really like. It also is motion sensitive uh, backlighting, which is pretty cool. You also, because this has the standard automatic leveling, you do have the one control system as well so this will control your auto leveling and stuff and then this qr code here is so that you can hook up the lci insight backup camera system then you're gonna have your one control hotspot prep for wi-fi if you want to do that voltmeter for your juice pack and you do have your thermostat for your main air conditioner and your electric water heater switch there as well handy little thing here you've got a motion sensor light up here too by the way so really, really, really good stuff. I absolutely love what they're doing. And I, I'm kind of excited to see where these, where this brand goes in the future. So stepping into the master bathroom, you do have a 30 by 36 inch shower. Good space there. You do have the slow close shower curtain. So as you can see there, looks 
Um, so nice touch there. You are going to have a skylight, so if you're 06465, you can still shower in here comfortably. Max Air vent fan up the top, which is a nice touch. And then down here you have a porcelain foot flush lever toilet. Uh, plenty of legroom around there, by the way, which is nice. Handy little shelf. Gigantic linen closet. Uh, this is something not a lot of good of smaller fifth wheels do well and that's one of the staples of these smaller fifth wheels by Arctic Wolf. You do have the medicine cabinet there and you get to look at my goofy face. Uh, ooh, I like I like how that's framed out in the wood. That's a that's a, huh I, they must have run out of outlet covers or something but I like that. Um, Motion sensor light, GFI protected outlet. And then down here you've got a spot for a bathroom trash can. So pretty, pretty good master bathroom. I really like it. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead, take a look at the master bedroom. And I tell you, for a small fifth wheel, this they just killed it. They really did. So as we come into the master bedroom, first thing you'll notice, you do have a 60 by 80 true queen. So you can actually get fine sheets for this. You can upgrade the mattress, whatever. Um, a lot of these smaller fifth wheels, it seems like, especially in this price point, have a camper queen or a camper king. Uh, so I like the residential queen personally. And then they got rid of that stupid relaxed sticker up top there. A lot of people didn't like that. You do have a nice shelf up there. Um, cross breeze windows on both sides of the bed. You're also going to have the option to add a second air conditioner. We have done that on this specific one and really we're gonna do that on every single one of them. Um, but if you're shopping around, check and make sure that this has, the, the fifth wheel that you're looking at has this option because a lot of dealers, especially up north, don't put a second air conditioner on this and it really does need it. You are gonna have the thermostat for this air conditioner right there as well as some lighting controls. <coughs> You've got household and USB plugs on both sides of the bed. Handy little bonus drawer right there. And then they've changed these cabinets up a little bit too. You've got a divided shelf storage now, which is nice. And then you're probably wondering, well, where do I put my clothes? And as you can see here, you have a big chunk of wardrobe space here. And then you've got a handy shoe garage down below. And if we pan back up here, you have got a place to mount a small 19 or 20 inch TV with the appropriate connections. And I tell you, these Arctic Wolves have always had a really good curb appeal to them. So starting up front here, you've got a nice fiberglass front cap with LED lights. That is automotive painted to prevent some fading and stuff. You are going to have, <clears throat> pardon me, a Rhino box pin box if you want to add uh, swap this out for an upgraded one there are some ones being developed for this specific frame I don't believe they're out yet but they are coming here pretty soon as we come along here I do want to mention up underneath here is your docking light switch as well as your automatic leveling controls and then up in here is going to be your spare tire uh, battery. And is this open? No, it is not. Of course, I knew I was going to forget to unlock that. Coming along the side, you do have in this first compartment a single 20 pound propane tank. You're going to have one on each side in the saddle tank configuration. You do have the leash latch. And a lot of people always ask me what this is for. So back up in your pass-through storage, you do have cable and satellite hookups, as you can see there. Nice, big, completely unobstructed pass-through storage. You can see that you do have the double-sided welded frame, which is a very nice touch. <clears throat> and all of these are going to be a slam latch baggage door with magnetic holdbacks. If we back up and take a look at the side, you have a nice power awning, dual outside speakers. Uh, the, there is an LED light strip in the awning, and these are backlit speakers as well. You do have the black glass entry door with the larger entry assist handle, and the triple step, more ride step above steps, with the easy adjust feet that fold up inside of the door. 
good looking wheel and tire package. One cool thing on these tires, these have a five plus two plus one tire warranty. So five years against defects, two years roadside assistance, and 12 months, no questions asked, replacement guarantee on your tires. You do have a mini outside kitchen. So you've got the two burner cooktop, little dump sink, back by the water heater right in this area here. You do have a cold water spray port for outside campsite water. You've got a ice maker and then a small mini fridge. <clears throat> you got a six gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition. Rear cargo rack, that is another optional piece of equipment that we like to apply to these. And then if we look up top here, you can see that you do have the backup camera standard from the factory, which is a pretty cool feature. Coming around over here, you have your 50 amp service outside shower. So not just a cold water spray port, you actually have both. You're gonna have a gray tank dump here. It is easy to get to even though it is under the slide out. And all your gate valves are gonna be tucked up underneath the underbelly, which makes them really easy to get, uh, or makes them not freeze as well, is what I meant to say. Or freezes easily, I guess is the correct, correct uh, term. You got another little storage compartment here behind the fireplace, so perfect spot for your cord and water hose and stuff. Slam latch on that as well. And then up here you are gonna have your main terminations, so it's not under the slide out, which is nice. You've got an easy convenience light to make hooking up uh, at night a breeze. Then you've got all your hookups here, so your water, or your potable water, or fresh water, city water, black tank flush, cable satellite, all that good stuff's right there. This is the other side of your pass-through, and then you've got your last propane tank right there. Arctic Wolves, despite their weight, they use a full two-inch thick sidewall, just like a big Montana fifth wheel, which is a really neat feature. It's going to give you a lot more insulation than some of the other competing products out there. Um, these are not zero to 100 degree tested, but I think if they did test them, they would definitely pass because I tell you these have some of the best insulation I've seen in a smaller fifth wheel and I'd be curious to see what the test results are. Um, might have to inquire about that see if they can do that. But with that being said guys that's going to wrap it up for the 2022 Arctic Wolf by Forest River model 261 RK. If you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, you can also give us a call at 806-335-2336 or shoot me an email at contact at custom-rv.com. If you're interested in pricing, I'll put a link to our website where you can see the most current up-to-date price uh, if we can show it. And uh, we don't do any hidden dealer fees at Custom RV. We leave that up to the big dealers. And we know that RVs are made for women, so men can go camping. With that being said, guys, if you can do me a favor, hit that like button down below. That really helps us uh, know that you're liking what we're putting out for you. And if you want to stay up to date on all of our new arrivals, feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell down below. We would greatly appreciate that. As always, guys, we thank you very much for watching. We appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to watch our videos. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, we hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day.